We've traveled more than 1,300 kilometers through this golden land of pagodas by plane, train, and automobile, and by boat and e-scooter. It's lush landscapes, cheery people, and good eating all along the way during our time in Myanmar. And we've got some important tips for your own trip through this beautiful country. We started out our leftward loop in Yangon, flying up to Mandalay before a day-long meander down the Irrawaddy by boat to Begon, where we boarded a 17-hour train back to our starting point. What was good? I think the food was good, it was cheap and delicious. What was your favorite food? Tea leaf salad. Really? Because like a few times yeah. you tried it and you almost died. Not the spicy one, <laughs> of course. What's in tea leaf salad again? Uh, I think it's a mixture of tea leaf, pink nuts, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Something okay. crispy. And it's really complex. I mean, it's just like it's almost very savory, um, but it's not too sweet. It's just kind of this hodgepodge of, of flavors. That's really cool. Taxis in Myanmar, I don't think we ever came across a taxi with an actual meter yeah. or flag full. And you're supposed to negotiate with them, which you could get taken for a ride price-wise. Well, we had a lot of luck with an app, right? Yeah, there's an app called Grab. I think it's popular in Southeast Asia. And the price is really reasonable. No need to negotiate with the driver. And every time when we try to grab a taxi uh, using the app, the taxi comes within five minutes. When we were traveling, Peter remarked that he didn't see a single person with pimples. Well, how do you think that is? I think it's because of the Tanaka they put on their face, but I'm not sure about that. Well, apparently it has some anti-pimple properties. I think it's also like a mild disinfectant. Otherwise, you know, it's good for sunblock or just kind of cool and travel. How do you put on a long E? At first, I don't know how to put it on, but after some YouTube tutorial, it's really easy. What's the trick? Fast. We use a lot of drone shots in our show, and Myanmar presented some special challenges when deploying a drone. Yeah, I think it's not obviously allowed to bring a drone into Myanmar. I think we could say it's terribly inconsistent. We were able to get a drone through. We didn't try to hide it. We checked out a lot of blogs, and it was pretty split down the middle. We flew domestically from Yangon to yeah. Mandalay. They checked Peter's luggage and saw the drone and one person's like, no, you can't bring this. And then her manager like waved it through. It was like, it's okay, it's fine. Um, there are certain sections in Yangon which are definitely off limits. We'll provide you a link for that. So I really wanted to take the train, but we found it was very difficult to find any reliable information online. Uh, but in the end, Peter was able to work it all out. Yeah, basically there's no official website to get a train ticket. All you need to do is find an agency, tell them from where to where and what's the time, and they will help you to handle it. Yeah, and I mean like your hotel staff can probably do that too. Um, it, it's all very wonderfully archaic, like even the ticket, it's this handwritten kind of proof of purchase. Um, there's nothing digital about it, and I think you have to book, is it five days in advance or? I do some research online, someone said it's five days, but actually I think we just a three days. I think my favorite part was actually the train ride. Yeah, it's not really clean, but luckily we occupied the whole compartment. I liked how rocky and shaky it was. It was kind of like being rocked to sleep by a mom listening to heavy metal. Yeah, it's really shaky. I don't think I'm on the train. At least our cart had really good suspension, so it was more of this like constant swaying, waving, floating feeling. Like it wasn't as bone rattling as some of the blogs had us believe. Yeah, it was quite an experience and I would totally do it again if yeah. I brought my own blankets. Oh yeah, it's really cool out there. Yeah, I think we were waking up like every hour after midnight just to kind of put on another layer. By the time we woke up, I think I was wearing like four layers and like two pants and two socks. Bad thing, okay, Bagan is super dusty. I don't know how it is during the wet season, but we went during the dry season, and man, it's just like all this particulate. You need a scarf, a mask, something, especially if you're gonna go on the mopeds, uh, on the e-scooters. Otherwise, it's amazing. 
Well, we hope you enjoyed this series. And I mean, we do want to see your videos, photos, or your experiences. So feel free to share them in the comments section. And if you haven't already, go back and watch the first five episodes. Wave.